Here's a list of things you should never say or write on YouTube. Sub for sub, sub me, sub to sub, subscribe to me, sub me, sub to my YouTube channel, sub to me, sub back, sub space, for space, sub, subscribe to my channel, sub me, want free subscribers, sub me, subscribe to my channel. And I just said them all. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. Nobody likes nor wants to read sub for sub comments, so to block them from your channel on most YouTube screens, click on your profile picture in the top right hand corner and click on YouTube Studio. If your studio doesn't look like this, it soon will do as YouTube moves you from the classic creator studio to this new one. Click on settings down the left hand side and then from this pop-up click on community. You should now see a screen that shows your channel moderators, people you've hidden from your channel and a section at the bottom called blocked words. And a question for you at this point, have you ever posted a sub for sub comment on a YouTube video or engaged in a practice with somebody else? Let us know how that went for you in the comments below. I'm guessing it wasn't a fun experience. The blocked words box works very much like video tags. You type in a word or phrase, press enter, and that will create the blocked word. You can use spaces as well to write complete phrases such as subscribe to me. You can remove the blocked words by either clicking on the cross next to the phrase or by pressing the backspace key. To help you get started, this is the complete list of blocked sub for sub words we use. I'll put this in the video description so you can copy and paste it. You also have this checkbox you can click if you want to automatically place comments with hashtags and links in them to your held for review page. To view all of these comments, go to the comments page in the Creator Studio and you'll see three tabs at the top. As you can see, we have quite a lot of fluff to deal with at vidIQ. The likely spam page is YouTube's automated attempt to filter out comments such as sub for sub, which sometimes it gets right, while other times it filters out completely legitimate comments. The hell for review page is where you will find those comments that have been weeded out from your blocked words list. Oh, and if you're wondering why some of the comments are blurred out, it's because they contain foul and abusive language, so feel free to add such words and phrases to your blocked list too. You have several options on how you can deal with these comments. You can approve them, delete them, report them to YouTube, or just hide the user from your channel so you never see any of their comments again. Now, while we're on the subject of comments, vidIQ has a cool little tool that allows you to create comment templates, so that instead of typing the same response out many times to the same question or the same comment, you can do a couple of clicks and it automatically places it in there for you. Saves me tons of time every single day. And if you're wondering what that one tool is, it's all part of the vidIQ Chrome extension that will allow you to research YouTube, analyze every single video on the platform, audit your own YouTube channel and take actionable steps that will help grow that channel. vidIQ is free to download. There is a link in the video description. For more YouTube beginners guys just like this, check out the playlist over here. To find out more about vidIQ and what it can do for you, you check out the video down there and of course you can subscribe to vidIQ but that doesn't mean we're necessarily going to subscribe back to you because that would make it sub for sub. Enjoy the rest of your video making day.